I don't know if it will get passed, but they were putting a new bill through Parliament uh, about social media and specifically um, fake claims, political claims, that sort of thing, but not about this abuse. I'd done an interview, a review of a book called The Authority Gap, and there's a title, so I have 10 videos about this book, and there's a title of one of the chapters, and it's called, uh, do you mind if I swear? Because that's what the words were in the book. So it's called Shut Your Whore Mouth. And I posted it on one day and got some engagements, but nothing really bad. Uh, nothing really actually paying attention to what, because the, the things that come after that are example after example after example of what is said. It was the woman who suggested there should be a woman on one of our banknotes. And she was trolled mercilessly over a two day period death threats, rape threats, revealing location, saying I'm looking at you now, saying I can find your children. Terrible, awful stuff. So anyway, I tried to write Shut Your Whole Mouth. And I said, this chapter's called... Cool. So the first time I did it, it, it posted out, but it was a post saying episode 10 of this. And I, I went, I can't believe people aren't listening to this. So then I posted it on the social Me Too website and I changed the wording and I put the chapter at the beginning and it wouldn't let me upload it. So, it, LinkedIn, can stop an upload if it contains bad language. But the experience of users is that when they complain, they get an algorithmic response which says it's not outside our terms and conditions. So what we know, what I know, is that LinkedIn can stop it if they wanted to. They just don't want to. Um, and therefore, there was a singer called there's a singer called Lizzo, American singer, and I saw a news story about her. And uh, people have made some negative comments. She complained to Instagram. The comments were removed within 24 hours. So we know that if you have a big enough voice, then you can change things. So I can see how you could change the experience of social media for those that wanted not to be abused. And it's easily possible. So this, this is basically what I want to achieve. And a person who's abusing gets their thrills from seeing their abusive comments on that person's feed. However, if you look at a feed and I can look at a feed, we don't see the same thing. Therefore, it is easily possible, currently possible, currently happening to let someone write some abusive comment and let them see it on a, on a dummy wall of that person. But stop it from going to that person because it contains language which is easily, easily identifiable because I've seen it. They can change it. So... Um, basically, yeah, if I can, once we get to the tipping point of 10, 20, 30,000 uh, stories, 40,000 stories, when I have to ask someone to be a proofreader for me because I won't, won't be able to do it myself, then I'm going to say, listen, you could do this easily. So a user on any social media platform, male or female, could put the have a preferences box anyone who writes sexual comments or what have you i don't want to receive them and then from their perspective if they're looking at their own wall they don't see any of the comments but the abuser gets their kick so i i can't change them or help them but i can allow listen compassionately respond emotionally i can allow them because the, it, to an extent, it's 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 a, a reflex. People are just just they're angry, they're afraid, they are in all sorts of mental stress and strife. So the exercise I did this morning, you exercise in the morning, I do it every day because it keeps my mind out of this sewer of abuse and political unrest or all, all the unrest I was saying before so ultimately once I get enough stories I shall go to LinkedIn